cannabis infused video. And I want to thank each and every one of my subscribers. You guys got me to 20,000 subscribers and I appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown my channel over the last two years. It's appreciated. Please keep liking my videos and sharing them on your social media platforms. So today I'm showing you how to make chocolate chip brownies and we're using only seven ingredients and I'm using can of butter. But if you want your brownies to be extra potent, you can use can of sugar as well. So let's get started. For this recipe, you'll need flour, Hershey's cocoa, baking powder, sugar, eggs, vanilla extract, chocolate chips, and can of butter. Start by preheating your oven to 350 degrees. Then use a basting brush to coat your pan or silicone mold so your brownies don't stick. Now I'm using can of oil for this process, but you can use any spray or regular oil. And if you're interested, you can buy these brownie molds on Amazon for $13 and I'll make sure I leave that link below. And if you're using a baking pan, this is a small batch recipe, so you should get about nine brownies using a nine by nine baking pan. Now I like to start with my wet ingredients first. So melt a half a cup of can of butter and add it to a medium sized bowl. Then add one cup of sugar and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. For this recipe, you don't need a hand mixer. So use a whisk and mix until well combined. Your mixture will still be grainy from the sugar, but don't worry after adding the eggs, the texture will change. Now make sure the butter and sugar mixture has cooled and then add two large eggs and mix until well combined. Now this may take two to three minutes of mixing. And if you haven't already, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And now I don't do live videos for super chats, but you can still show your support by sending a super thanks if you enjoyed this video. So when you finish mixing in your eggs, the mixture should look like this and then set it aside. Next, in a separate bowl, add a half a cup of flour and a third cup of cocoa. A simple hack for this recipe, I use some Starbucks salted caramel hot cocoa mix I had laying around instead of Hershey cocoa. Just a preference, but they both work the same. Then add a quarter teaspoon of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Use a whisk or a spoon and stir until well combined. Next, bring back the sugar and egg mixture and gradually start adding the cocoa mix, adding about an eighth a cup each time. Use a spatula instead of a whisk this time and lightly stir the mix until just combined to make sure you don't overmix the brownie batter. And be careful because overmixing your batter can cause you to incorporate too much air into the brownies, leading to a change in texture and they may sink when baking. Last but not least, add the half a cup of chocolate chips and use the folding technique until they are combined. Now I use Ghirardelli grand chocolate chips for this recipe, but the wafers are a good option as well. For adding your batter to the pan or molds, go back over them with the basting brush one more time just to make sure the oil is evenly distributed. Then start pouring your brownie batter in the molds or pan. The brownie batter will be a little thick, but don't worry because as they melt in the oven, they will cook evenly on their own. Now give them a slight tap on the oven or counter before placing them in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes. And make sure you check on them closer to the 15 minute mark, just because the time length will depend on your oven altitude and if you're using the molds or pan. After 20 minutes, take the brownies out of the oven and they should look like this. Set the brownies on top of the oven and let them cool off for about 30 minutes to an hour before removing them. After the brownies have cooled off, start cutting and removing them from the silicone molds or pan. Now, I didn't wait long enough for them to cool down, so make sure you don't try to remove them until they are completely cool or you'll experience some sticking like I did. And once they're removed, your brownies should look moist and cakey like this. Ooh, I cannot wait to try one of these brownies, but you can also add your favorite icing as a topping and just that quick and easy, you have cannabis infused homemade brownies. 
Thank you guys for sticking around and watching this whole video. Like I always tell you, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and you subscribe to my channel. And you can always um, catch me on my other social media uh, platforms on Instagram at Hello High Official, on the Cannabis app at Hello High, and on uh, Twitter, Hello High underscore. You can find me on uh, Facebook at Hello High Official. And I'm going to try one of these brownies out before I go because you know I'm greedy. And oh my God, they're still, these brownies are still warm. So let me just go ahead and just break this brownie in half. Oh my gosh. Look at the, do you, can you see the chocolate in there? I hope this comes out good. Can you see the chocolate in that brownie? These brownies are still warm and they're like oozing chocolate. Mm. Oh my God. That is so good. Ooh. Okay. I'll see you guys on the next video.